All right, what's up guys? It's Tony Holiday. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I think we're gonna make a beat in Logic and we're going to do it in the style of Jamin, who just signed to Higher Music, one of Jay Park's labels. He just released an EP, Homecoming. It's full of cool, diverse tracks. It's a lot of upbeat stuff, a lot of stuff that you can have fun to. The track that I wanna do is Dedication, the one featuring Jay Park, the lead single on the EP. I wanna be in love, cause nothing really matters, I'd rather just run it up. But she gon' really- It's a nice piano beat, it's upbeat, it's got some cool drums to it. So let's make something in the style of that. Also, something I wanna hear from you guys in the comments, I'm debating doing a Discord for music producers. I'm not really sure of kind of what I wanna have on there yet, but maybe just a community of places where you can exchange ideas, people can give feedback on beats, you can post your beats, ask for help with that. I floated the idea to a couple people that have DM'd me and stuff, and they said they'd be into it. So if you think it'll be worthwhile, uh, put it in the comments if you think that would be cool, and if you would join and wanna be a part of that community. But with that being said, let's jump into Logic. Let's make a beat for Jamin with his new EP, Homecoming, something kind of upbeat and fun. And let's do it all Logic Pro. Let's go. All right, you guys, so I've got Logic open here. What we're gonna do is just get a simple Steinway Grand Piano. We're going to change the tempo to 95 and the loop function on. I can just do that by pressing C, which gives us a four bar loop there. We're gonna start making some chords for this. Now, in dedication, the piano is a very kind of focal point of the track. Not every chord lands on the downbeat. It gives the track the life, I guess, that is kind of the staple of what gets in your ear when you're listening to it. So we're gonna try and emulate that. I have some chords in mind. We're gonna do this in F sharp minor, the same key of the song, but it, it'll be slightly different. It's not a remake, but it will have similarities and it will have differences. We'll do TP, get our pencil tool. We'll make us a region and we'll start making this. So we got our bass set of chords there for the first two bars. I just copied it over by doing Command R after I highlighted the notes. And we're gonna make some slight changes to the second part of the four bar loop. So we're gonna keep the uh, F sharp minor to start. And we're gonna make some changes on the back end of the chords. Something that's interesting about this song, which again is probably one of the reasons why the piano is so ear catching, is there's this chord here, which is the C sharp minor. And then we have this one here, which is the C sharp major. And they come right after each other. In the key of F sharp minor, C sharp is the five. You can actually use a minor chord or a major chord for that chord. And when you use them in tandem together like that, it gives kind of a weird dissonance, but it sounds good in this case. So let's start doing some voicings on top and inverting the notes. So I'm gonna make some sevens. And what I wanna do is take the ones, the root note of each chord, and we're just gonna bring it down. That sounds good. And maybe some inversions of the notes. This is the basic uh, four bar piano loop for what we have so far. So let's start with that. Let's make some melodies in here to kind of fill in the gaps that we've made with this. Nice. 
Nice, so let's copy over this melody here and we'll just do Command R to repeat it. And I think the back end here, I just wanna make something slightly different. That's cool. Very slight difference in the melody at the end, but it stays similar throughout. And the chords are a little bit different too. So it's interesting enough to keep you interested. However, it's still familiar too. So you know what's coming. Let's take a listen to this now with everything and then we'll move on to another part. Has a little bit of reverb here from the buses that come with the piano and I'm going to get another key from serum dream key serum here and that one is really nice for kind of like a counter melody type thing so let's kind of record something and then we can always make adjustments to it afterwards just see what happens Don't like that note at the end, we'll make a little change here. This one. And also because I'm screen recording too, the latency made this a little bit off time. So if I just press Q, let's see if this fixes it. ended up working out pretty good. So we'll keep that. And I'm also gonna send this to the same reverb, the large hall, just to give it a little bit of tail end there. And I think what I'm gonna do too is throw on like a little vocal part in the background. This is kind of a cool trick if you're looking to fill space with uh, beats that don't really have a ton going on in terms of instruments and frequencies, but you know, the piano has a lot of notes in it and a lot of chords, and a lot of melodies but there's not a whole lot filling the spaces between that. What I'll do with this is I'll usually record with my iPhone, just like a voice memo, like Lauv, not even close to as good. And then you just airdrop it in and I'll show you how to process that as well. And you can see that I have just a ton of these from doing this type of thing when I'm making beats. So it sounds really stupid when you're doing it on the voice memo, especially if you're not a singer like me, but as long as you can get close enough, you can edit it in flex pitch. So watch this. I'm gonna record on the voice memo uh, while this is playing in the headphones, so it's not gonna hear it. And then we'll do processing on it afterwards. So watch this. I don't know what it is about this vocal part, but it's not working. We're getting rid of it. Let's put some drums on to start, and then we'll come and add to this later. Kind of melody, we've been spending a lot of time on it. Let's move on and we'll come back. We get some more inspiration. I've actually been liking this uh, Southside and Palace drum kit a lot lately. Let's do that one. Hi-hats. That one's good. Let's do that one. And there's a perk from Sam Playground in particular that I want to check out, which is Snapchat. And how could we forget an 808? now let's actually get the piano down for the 808s and we will take all the high notes we will force legato those max the velocity and bring this down for the kick we will bring up the 808 and then all we need to do is just make sure these notes are all on the same and to drag that in and then we'll just make a simple two-step pattern all right so here's the thing 
I made some changes to the beats. It was taking me a long time. I did it off camera. I was kind of getting a bit frustrated there as trying to figure out the spaces to fill amongst the piano and such. This is what I've come up with. The piano part that we started with, kept that one. Same thing with the Dream Key Serum. I just kind of doubled the chords up to give it a little more volume there too. I did end up using a vocal part. So I'll let you listen to this now. This is what it sounds like by itself, still with the processing. So then if you do the melody all together, The drums, uh, same thing, we kept those, we just put a compressor on them. And the bass, what I also did is I copied the 808 pattern and I put it on one of these Logic subby basses. So what happens is in the beginning of the chorus or certain parts of this, it'll have just the, the subby bass and then it'll go into the 808. And I did the similar thing with the hi-hats that kind of come in out the two-step pattern. I went and arranged it as well. Let's take a listen to this, at least to the first chorus, so you can get a sound of what it would be like to make a beat for Jay. Amen. One other thing I wanted to show you as well, and if you're interested in me doing an arrangement tutorial, please do hit me up in the comments for that as well. I added this little part here. When you're making an arrangement, it's easy to take your eight bar loop or four bar loop, just copy it across and take things out and put things back in. Once you do that once or twice, is you're gonna get bored of it. So you wanna find interesting creative ways for you to stay interested in your track, but it's still the same sounds. And theoretically, it's gonna be the same kind of arrangement leading into choruses and hooks and verses and things like that. Here's an example is I take out some sound here and then it leads in with the 808s. And this portion here, I just stuttered the beginning of the uh, bar here to kind of lead into the next part. So we'll listen from this portion to this portion here. You can get an idea of what it sounds like. Just take note of this area here without anything in it. And then this area here as well, where it's just the stutter. So this part here with the subby bass, as it goes into the drop like that, it's again, just ways to keep you interested in the track, despite there not being that many tracks to actually variate from. Your arrangement's very important like that because it's gonna keep your, inter your listener interested. In this case, your listener might be an artist that wants to get on your beat. So it's really important to have things where they can put little, you know, interesting parts of their vocal part based on your production. Something to keep in mind when you are arranging beats. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. My apologies for doing some of that off camera. It was just getting kind of frustrating. A lot of it is just trial and error, trying things. So it's almost not worth me really showcasing that, I guess. But I'm pleased with how the final result came out. I think it sounds similar to dedication in the sense that Jamin might get on it. The final result is what I wanted to showcase to you guys and the kind of getting there. Hopefully I'll just get better at that. So hopefully I don't have to come across this again. If you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'm always putting out new music production content. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter as well. And also please let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a Discord. I think it would be a cool place for us to have a community of music producers just working on stuff, getting feedback, and more or less just getting to know each other um, in the online space. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. This is Tony Holiday, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.